Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. <clears throat> Coming off a, uh, a good win last episode. Um, and I'm feeling real good. And uh, I gotta tell you, it's because I am now back officially in uh, in Cleveland. You know, I'm, uh, I'm back in my hometown um, oh, you know, cool, the AC is going to kick on right as I start recording. That's, that's fine. Um, but, uh, you know, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm back here, and, uh, it's like when I came back here, I don't know how else to describe it, other than, it's like, you know, as soon as I, uh, as soon as we entered, like, the state of Ohio, it was like, uh, a wave of euphoria hit my brain. I, I honestly have no idea if that's the right terminology to use there, but regardless, it made me feel really good. And it's a kind of good that I haven't really felt in a while. Not to suggest that, you know, like I'm... I, like I was having a real bad time or anything. It's just like, it's significantly different, I think, you know coming back to a place that you've grown up in and you know coming back to a place where you know people and you, there are people at the, you know in that place or at that place that care about you and you care about them a lot you know it's like uh it's nice to come back to that you know especially when you've been away from it for so long um you know so i'm just i'm happy i'm good playing some isaac it's a good time. Um, we're also looking to, to get three videos a day back on the channel. The past couple of days, it's been just two a day. Um, because I, you know, can't for the life of me figure out the problem with City Skylines at the moment. But um, it looks like that's going to be a pretty significant problem. Unless I can figure out, you know, like how to get it to stop crashing, you know, every time I load a city, you know, it wasn't doing that before, but now all of the, all of the, all of a sudden it's, uh, it's doing that every time I try and load in, not really sure what to do about that. Obviously it has something to do with mods, I think, but you know, it was working fine. And then all of a sudden it stopped working and I didn't change any of the mods that I had installed or any of the assets or anything, you know, it was, uh, the same that it's been. Also, you know, this room is awful. I hate, I hate this. Why is this a first floor boss? I, w I, I would like to pose that question because this is a little absurd in my opinion. I might actually die in here because I literally cannot get away from these fucking turds. But, uh, yeah, no, I can't, like, I can't figure out this, uh, this city skylines issue, so I'm, I, I, I think I'm gonna have to head back to South Park, um, not that, like, that's a bad thing, because I obviously enjoy playing South Park as well, but it's, you know, it's, uh, it sucks because, like, I want to bring city skylines back, you know, as a, as a, uh, as a series on the channel, but I can't do it if the game isn't going to cooperate with me. <coughs> oh, bless me. You know, and I, I, I'm, I'm sure I'm like, I'm actually positive. It's something on my end, you know, be, uh, with the mods I have installed and everything, uh, and everything, but I don't know how to fix it. You know, like, I don't know because if I, if I disable the mods and I disable the assets and I try and load the city, that might break the city too, you know? So it, it, it's like, it's a weird situation. And I don't really know how to handle it, to be honest. Um, you know, I, like, I don't know if I should try and disable all my mods and assets anyway and see what happens, um, you know? I kind of don't want to go through the tedious process of, like, disabling every mod and asset one by one. Because that would take me so much time. And it's, uh... 
you know, I have hundreds of assets and mods installed. Be a little ridiculous, but, um, you know, and the weird thing is that, like, I get this error message because I, I have this mod, the, the loading screen mod, which shows you everything is loading into a city, including all of your assets and mods, which is really cool. Um, and it, it, it was showing, you know, like, uh, it loading everything in and then it would show like these certain assets that it wasn't loading in except they weren't assets that I had downloaded they were normal game assets you know like sunshine and grass and uh, stuff like that and uh, so I don't know I don't know what the problem is like I don't know what I did if I did anything if it's uh, you know a sudden maybe a, a mod updated or something and now it's incompatible with something else you know I'm not entirely sure but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying to figure it out um, can't say or I can't promise that I will be able to um, because well I mean like I'm not not the not that acclimated with uh, with city skylines you know, like, not as much as I used to be, anyway, so, I can't think of, you know, any decent solutions to try other than what I would read on a forum or something, um, but, uh, I'm gonna try and figure it out, um, you know, maybe I'll post in the Steam forums, be like, hey, what's the problem, um, tell me how to fix problem so I can play a game you know um did get a deal with the devil it's pretty nuts I can't see what these are though which is uh unfortunate and frankly I don't know if I want to take that risk you know to be honest yeah let's not take that risk it'll give us an angel room opportunity in the future and I'm going to go back Firstly, I'm gonna blow my way into these uh, secret rooms, but uh, I'm gonna head back to that uh, that re uh, the the demon judgment and uh, sacrifice my health and uh, hope we can get something pretty neat out of it. That would be cool. What'd you give me? Potato peeler. I don't remember what that does, actually. Um, so I am going to do a quick Google search. I know it I, It has something to do with damage, right? Potato peeler Isaac. All right, give it to me straight. What's it do? On use, removes one red heart container, increases damage by a flat plus 0.2, grants one cube of meat, and grants the anemic effect. The anemic effect will only last until Isaac exit the room. Cube of meat are permanent. Okay. So, pretty, pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and pop it right away, just simply because... You know, I don't need four red heart containers. And frankly, I'm probably not going to get um, a deal with the devil here on this next floor. So I think, uh, I think uh, we'll be fine. Um, not that we even necessarily needed the damage upgrade, but it's nice to have. And having cube of meat is also pretty uh, nice. So... I'll take it, you know. Not the not the greatest spacebar item in the world, but definitely worth taking, in my opinion. Um, got a secret room here. Give me something neat. You did give me something neat. I can't use it yet, but you did give me something neat, and that I can appreciate. We'll definitely take flaming tears as well. You son of a bitch. Well, you know, I hate to break it to you, buddy, but I have an angel room opportunity of 
no matter what. So, you know, I can roll with that. The whole deal with the devil thing does not work out. Yeah, uh, you know, having flaming tears is undoubtedly going to hurt me at some point. You know, because sometimes they explode, but... Honestly, I think they do more good than potential harm, so... I think there's a net gain to be had here. I'm gonna sneeze again. Cleveland, uh, fucking with my sinuses, huh? You know, I come from, <laughs> uh, you know, downtown Boston where it doesn't smell all too great to, uh, to a, 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 a suburban outskirt of Cleveland. Um, you know. Alright, what do you got for me? Uh, you know what? That's okay. That's acceptable. I mean, it's frank. Frankly, it, it, it's better than nine. What was I gonna say? It's better than, you know, uh, a, a a a sizable chunk of the things you'll get out of a normal secret room. So, I will gladly take it. Um. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. See. That's what I mean. Ooh. You know what? Here's a thought. We pop the strength card, and then we use potato peeler in that room. I wonder if it has, like, I wonder if it counts it as like a, um, as like, as a, as that kind of effect where like, you know, it won't take away an actual heart container, but it'll take away the, the extra heart container you get from using strength. You know what, probably not, because this game thinks of everything, but I am willing to give it a shot. It's a mini boss fight. Not too sure we need to indulge in that, to be honest. Um, I mean, not that it would really matter, but like at the same time, uh, why? You know, I don't need to waste my time with that. Um... I also do have a couple things, you know, outside of Isaac and the channel, of course, that I want to talk about. Got to remember what they are first. Um, shit. I had to, like, I, for the past few days, I've been, like, keeping a list of things that I wanted to talk about in, uh, in Isaac episodes or, you know, gaming episodes in general. Um... But now I can't think of it. I can't think of any of them, for that matter. Fuck. Well, um, I think maybe one thing I wanted to say had something to do with Endgame, I think. You know, I mean, surprise, surprise. The thing that, you know, literally everybody is talking about, I have something to say about. <laughs> Doesn't that make me unique? No, but I, I mean, I think like, I've, I've already had one aspect of Endgame spoiled for me. And frankly, I don't really care because I don't care about the Marvel Cinematic Universe all that much, to be honest. Um, and I have no plans to see Endgame, at least for a long time. So, not, you know, terribly upset about it, but, uh. Ooh, well, I'm definitely... Why did I do that, actually? Because now... Yeah, see, and it totally did account for... Um, fucking... Uh, strength. Well, I'm going to take this anyway. Now I'm going to be, like... Hyper-anxious about... Taking care of death's list each time, but whatever. That's fine. Um... But uh, I was, yeah, I mean, I've already had one element of Endgame spoiled for me. Don't really care. Not going to, I don't have any plans on seeing it necessarily. Um, but, you know, like I, I read that, you know, I mean, I read that the Endgame opening weekend made over like a billion dollars worldwide and it, it, it kind of just makes me think a little bit 
And it's like, I, it, don't get me wrong. I'm not here to shit all over, um, you know, Marvel movies and, you know, shit on people for liking them. Because, you know, to each their own, you know. You like what you like. I'm not going to, I am not going to, uh, to shame you for that. But at the same time, you know, it kind of boggles my mind that, that, uh, that, you know, something like, uh, something like that can have such a, you know, a profound effect, you know, not even just in the U.S., but in, uh, you know, around the world, too, you know, like, can uh, something like that can have that many people caring about it, and you see it at the same time as, uh, Game of Thrones, too, you know, where it's like, man, there are, like, there, there are so many people that care about this, you know, and it's just wild, you know, I, I've never really been exposed to, to something like that before in pop culture, I think, you know, I mean, outside of, like, American football, but, it's like I've never really seen shows or movie franchises get so hyped up like that to the point where they, I mean, like it, you know, it like the, the amount of people paying attention to them and talking about them is absurd, you know, like I, 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 I mean, I've been around for Toy Story. That's a big thing that people care about. Um. You know, I've been around for, what's a good, good example? I mean, Avatar was a big thing, but like, I don't really remember too much of it, to be honest. Not the movie, but like the, the talk surrounding it at the time when it came out. Um, also, side note, I do not like that movie. But anyway, I, I, I don't think that's an unpopular opinion, <laughs> but I do not like that movie. Um But, uh, yeah, you know, like, I, it's just, it, it, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And then it's all going to fade away for at least a little while. You know, Game of Thrones is going to come to an end. There isn't really going to be a Marvel movie that, you know, really grabs people's attention, I think, for quite a while. Um, and frankly, I think pop culture could, you know, like, our society we live in a society our society could uh could you could use a break from that kind of stuff you know like i absolutely think it's cool that people are so you know invested in stuff like this but you know i think i want to see something new you know i want to see something new kind of take over and kind of grab people's attention because it, 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 it's not like the focus on Marvel movies and Game of Thrones is a, is a new thing at all. You know, that's been how it is for a while, you know. You know, and I kind of want something new to, uh, to grab people's attention and get people talking, you know. And, you know, maybe something that I could get behind too. No, I, you know what, I, I say that, and then I think about it, hang on, let me drink some water. And I've realized, I spilled water on myself like a goddamn dummy, um, and I realized that I am 100% the kind of person that's like, mm, this thing is popular, mm, well then I don't like it, you know, and it's like, I don't even do it consciously, it's just like, oh, I, you know, it, it's just, I get so sick of hearing people talk about things sometimes, um, like the Marvel movies especially, where it's like, I just, I don't want anything to do with it. Don't get me wrong, I know they're good. I think they're good. You know, like, that's my opinion, but, like, I'm just so sick of hearing people talk about them, you know. And, uh, so, like, I want nothing to do with them. And it's the same thing with just about anything else, you know, that gains a whole lot of popularity. It's like, I just, like, I get so sick of hearing people talk about it that I distance myself from it, you know? And I, I, I don't even necessarily mean to. It's just, you know, get annoyed, you know? 
But I mean, I, I, I feel like, you know, with anything that gets popular, that's kind of inevitable, you know, until you find something that is popular that you actually enjoy enough to like not care that people are constantly talking about it, you know? So I got to wait and find my thing, I guess. I mean, you know, just, it, it, you know, I mean, obviously no Netflix show, I think has that kind of cultural impact except for maybe Stranger Things but uh, you know I I'm a huge fan of BoJack Horseman now you know like I, I binged it I think a, a few months ago and like I, I loved it um, and I am not going to take that because I like my stats where they are at the moment um, but you know I binged it you know and I fell in love with the show and now like I'm eagerly awaiting season 6 um and, uh, you know, but that is like, and that's kind, kind of like one of my things, you know, that if pe more people talk about it, hey, that, you know, that's perfectly okay by me. But it's one of those shows where it's like, you know, it's obviously not going to hold the same kind of cultural, Im uh, cultural impact, you know, as a Marvel movie or Stranger Things or Game of Thrones or anything like that. So it's like not too many people are actually talking about it, you know. Um, which, you know, it's the nature of how things are. It's like, you know, I mean, nothing you can really do about it. You can't force people to watch things for one thing. And, uh, you know, some things just catch on. Other things don't. BoJack Horseman is definitely popular, don't get me wrong. But it's not to the extent, um, you know, of like... Stranger Things, Game of Thrones, etc., etc. Um, I don't know. Do I want to go in the? Yeah, you know what? Let's let's go in here. Only get one item, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll buy it. I forgot that was double item vision, and not. Uh. The, the the double shot one completely fucked that up but you know what it's good to take anyway actually because if I get like a damage upgrade or an item that gives me a damage upgrade I can pop that twice you you know pop it and like it'll give me two of that item and then I think I get like double the um, the damage upgrade maybe maybe that's how that works I don't know I guess I'll figure it out or see for myself. You know what? Let's try it. Let's uh, let's give it a shot here. Hell yeah. It worked. There we go. Um, we got to deal with the devil too. <sighs> give me Abaddon. Absolutely give me Abaddon. Um, nope. 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 Um, and I think we're good there. Alrighty. So I took a big risk taking Abaddon there. But Abaddon is I think... One of the only items, if not the only item, um, that, you know, if it appears in the Deal with the Devil, I am taking it every single time. Um, because it's just, it's so good. Like, you know, why would you pass it up? Like, you get a bunch of free health. Well, not free, but you get a bunch of health. Um, ah, shit. Um, and, uh, you know, you get a damage upgrade. Get all, like uh, different kinds of upgrades, and it, it, it's just it's good. I like it. I like it a lot. I remember that I can see the secret rooms too. Okay. You know what? I should have gone back and taken potato peeler, but I don't think it would work anymore because I don't have any red heart containers. That's fine. To be honest, it's an item that I think is good early on, but kind of loses its uh, its value later on in a run. So it served its purpose, and frankly, I'm appreciative and uh, appreciative and happy for that. Um, and I guess you know this is channel related, but I also wanted to talk about um, potentially streaming. You know, on Twitch or something like that. 
um, relatively soon. I think, you know, I think that's something that I would be interested in doing. The issue that I'm running into with it, um, I think, you know, the it, and it, it, it's a conceptual thing at the moment. Um, you know, obviously I will let you guys know in a separate video completely dedicated to it if I decide, you know, that, hey, I'm going to start streaming. But, uh, you know, it, it, the thing that's kind of like, making it a little difficult right now to map out in my head is that I'm starting a new job for one thing. Um, but also, you know, I don't know. I mean, during the day, you know, I have stuff going on, you know, even though I'm back home. So I don't know, you know, like, I don't know when I would stream, you know, is the thing. Oh God, that went down my throat. Ugh. Oddly, but the thing with streaming, you know, is that you want to be consistent with it in the same way that you're consistent with, you know, YouTube videos. You know, you want to have a schedule and you want to stick to that schedule. But I don't know, you know, what that schedule would be for one thing. And also like, you know, I the only time I might be able to stream is like in the middle of the night, Eastern Standard Time, which would work great for Europeans, but for Americans, you know, or North Americans and whatnot, it'd be kind of sucky, you know, which like, and I've thought about it and I would definitely want to, um, you know, like upload the Twitch VODs to, to YouTube. So it would add additional YouTube t uh, content, even though it, I like it's a VOD from a live stream. But I, I think that would be cool too you know I think that like and that that kind of makes me think like well you know if I do that then it's kind of okay you know for me to stream in the middle of the night because well you know like if people don't catch the stream they still get the content anyway you know and for the people that decide hey I want to be up that early or if you're European you know it's like works out for you too you know because the way my current youtube schedule is is that like i actually i you know like i uh it kind of it kind of sucks for for europeans because you know my my late like my the the video that goes up at six o'clock my time you know goes up i don't know like a, maybe at like midnight for them you know so it's kind of like maybe something uh, that could uh, kind of serve as um, you know a, a, not repentance that's not the word I'm looking for um, but kind of like you know giving back to those viewers in a way you know by live streaming at a time that maybe works for them a bit better than it works for Northern Americans or North Americans um, so I don't know you know it's something to think about I, I definitely want to pursue it at some point in the future. It, But the thing with that, too, is that I don't know if it's something that I can continue doing long term once I start, you know. It might be something that is entirely temporary, you know. You know, like maybe I do it for three or four months and then I kind of have to give it up. Um, you know, so I don't know. It's uh, It's absolutely something to think about and I'm going to continue to think about it um, you know for uh, for a while you know I, I or at least some time and I definitely will give it a consider considerable amount of thought and of course if you guys have any of your own thoughts or suggestions feel free to let me know um, you know I, I would love to start streaming it's really just the, the scheduling stuff that makes it difficult but you know, who knows, maybe I can work stuff out. Um, well, I, I'd also probably... Well, you know, I, I, I don't think I would need to get art designed for my Twitch channel. I could just take what I have on YouTube and bring it over. But... Um, 
at the same time, I feel like the, 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 the channel art that I have now is uh, art that I made myself. And it's, I, I don't think it's too good. <laughs> I went for like a minimalistic look. Because I was like, mm, I like that. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like not great. Um, but, you know, it's what I have at the moment. And I, the thing is, is that I also don't know what I want out of channel art. You know, so like if I if I ask somebody, hey, can you make me some channel art? You know, if I pay somebody to make me some channel art, I don't know what I want out of channel art. You know, and that's been a problem in the past where, you know, I, I, I commissioned somebody. Is that the right way of using that word or is it the other way around? Like the artist commissions you I, either way. Um, you know, I've worked out deals with like that with people before you know, to make me channel art and they'll ask me, okay, what do you like, what do you have in mind, you know, for it to look like? And like, mm, well, I don't know, you know, like that's uh, like, I don't, I, I don't really know. I don't even know what color scheme I would want. You know, it's like, it, 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 it's almost like I want somebody to just fucking make me something. I'll be like, yeah, that's cool. I'll take it. <laughs> you know, like, and kind of just roll with it. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 it's a whole thing for sure. A lot to think about. And I do have some friends that stream, um, you know, I think on Twitch. Well, do they? I know uh, Hawalder from the Game Train. He streams on... Uh, mm, he streams on YouTube, I think. Maybe. Maybe he doesn't anymore. I don't know. Um, but uh, I know he has experience with that. And I do intend on like getting some more information from people that are experienced with it on how to get started and, you know, what what I need to do and, you know, all of that. So we'll see how it goes from here. Um, the prospect of starting to stream definitely excites me. It's just, you know... Working out all the details is kind of what is holding me back from it at the moment. Also, my throat is starting to kill me a little bit. My throat is not trained enough to, to handle all the talking that I do, especially during Isaac episodes. You know, because when I'm playing other games, you know, like, I don't have to... I don't have to talk so much, you know, which you, don't get me wrong. I like talking. I like offering commentary, but in other games, you know, I don't have to talk so much because I can focus on the game a little bit more or let the game speak for itself. But with Isaac is, you know, it's like, I mean, it's Isaac, you know, once you understand it, once you're familiar with it, there isn't a whole lot to talk about. Um, you know, aside from what goes on in an individual run. But uh, I think we're in a really good place here. Speaking of this run, I think we're in a really good place here. I think we're going to win. Um, I, I was a bit worried that we weren't due to lack of HP, but we've absolutely made up for that. Um, so I think I think we're solid. I, I, right now, I do not see any reason why I should lose. You know, frankly, unless I just play extremely poorly um, this last stretch here. But I don't really see that happening. You know, I mean, that definitely does not help, but I don't think it is really going to inhibit me all that much. Hell yeah. Definitely will take more of these secret rooms. <sighs> ah, Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. Well, that was a little, that was a little unfair. You know, I, I'm going to throw that word out there. That was a little unfair. Because I was not expecting, you know, all those troll bombs to fucking emerge. Um, but uh, life ain't fair. Uh, yada yada. Alright. What do you got for me in here? Okay. Uh, you know what? Yeah. 
We'll take it. I'll take that too. Why not? Nine lives couldn't hurt, I think. Couldn't hurt. But, yeah, I don't think it could hurt. We don't really have any sort of chance of becoming Guppy, which is fine, you know, but taking nine lives anyway, I think, is pretty beneficial. Um, oh, God damn. What? Uh, I forgot I had the, the chariot. I'll pop that on the last floor, maybe, you know. Assuming I make it that far. If I blow this, I'll be real mad, but... Should be fine. I should be fine. I mean, like, legitimately, if I even lose one life, I'm just bad, you know. I, 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 no other way to describe it. I'm just bad, you know, if I let that happen. But it does not look like I will let that happen. Of course, we still have the next floor to really make that determination, but I think we are solid. All right, well. How many? I have one red heart container, right? I tell you what, I'm going to do it. Oh, it's Lil Brimstone. Oh, no. I, what? Oh. I am a fool. Well, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. But for some reason, I thought that was just going to give me uh, regular brimstone as like my attack. But uh, obviously, that's not how that works. Um, so F me, I guess. Should be fine anyway. Right? You know, we should be fine. Should be fine. Just like let her rip, you know? Beyblade or something like that. I also, um, oh yeah, you know, I, I think, was it yesterday? Um, it was my, uh, hundredth Afterbirth plus Isaac episode which is pretty neat you know this series has been going on for a while and I haven't uploaded every single day you know so it the the hundred episodes is a little misleading in that like you know this series has obviously been around for much longer than that if you look at it from a normal time scale um you know I, uh, yeah, you know, and it, it, I was thinking about this before the start of the episode. It's kind of crazy, you know, all the stuff that's happened in my life while this series has been ongoing, you know. It's like, uh, made me very introspective for a short minute. And I was like, yeah, it's Isaac, you know, I mean, uh, don't, don't, don't think too deeply about it. My brain is like, I'm going to find meaning in everything. You know, it's, it's like, it's a little unnecessary brain. You don't need to do that. That's okay. Also, this was the, like, the last thing I needed in here, but. You know what I mean? I guess if you're going to fucking make my life more difficult, go right ahead. Be my guest. I forgot I have the chariot. It'd be really nice if I knew how much HP I have. But, uh, I don't get that luxury. Um, you know what? No. I do want White Pony. I think that's the better pick up here. What the hell is this boss fight? Uh, 
And uh, to kind of to, to go off of the fact that, you know, yesterday's episode was the 100th uh, I, Afterbirth Plus episode. This series has never been popular, and I understand why, like, wholeheartedly. You know, it's entirely because, you know, Isaac is an older game. You know, like, a Afterbirth Plus came out, like, a year ago. Well, like, two years ago, I think. You know, so, like, it, it, I got on this train late, and I acknowledge that, and I don't really care, to be honest, because I enjoy the game, you know, a whole heck of a lot, so... You know, I don't really have any problem with, um, you know, this series not getting the, not getting a sizable viewership. Um, you know, because I still have fun playing it anyway. And that, I don't think that's ever going to change, you know. I don't know how long I'll play this game for. Oh, did I die? Yeah, I died. Well, we're at that point, huh? Where I lost all that HP. I am very bad at the game. It would help if I had known how much HP I had left, and I probably would have been more encouraged to be careful. But, you know, I mean, what can you do? All right, get him. 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 Oh. Oh, oh no. Do not, do not die. Do not die. That was very good, what we did there. I don't have another chariot card. So, we won't be able to pull that off if we die. You know, so we gotta live. Gotta live. Just a little bit longer. A little bit longer. We did it. We did it. Oh, we did it. Let's go. Two wins in a row. Kane's eye has appeared in the basement Hell yeah. God damn. That was that was close. You know, if we had died there, I think we would have been we would have been stuck in that loop because I don't think there was any way I was gonna survive that entire fight on one heart without the help of uh what, what's it called? Uh fuck. <laughs> uh the the party card. I I can I I can't remember that. The chariot. Okay, there we go. It's late. I need coffee. But uh, anyway, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus, let me know down in the comment section below. Like the video and share with your friends. It lets me know you want to see more of any game series I do here on the channel. Link down to the game is in the description box below if you want to pick it up for yourself. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming content. I play all sorts of games on my channel. Thank you guys very much for watching. Love you very much. And I will talk to you later.